Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we'll be making this gorgeous hair flower with feathers. This is a really fast and easy hair accessory to make. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a silk flower. Um, I found I find these at different uh, craft stores. This one is about five inches round. You can use one bigger or smaller if you'd like. And then you will need a boa. I actually found this at the dollar store in the kids um, dress up section. It was a buck and it made a lot of hair flowers. And then you'll need an alligator clip that has been covered in ribbon. To learn how to do this, please check out my uh, tutorial where I teach you how to cover this little alligator clip with a piece of ribbon and you will need something to decorate the middle of your flower with. I've got a button here or a little crystal and I ended up using the button and you'll need a measuring tape and a glue gun and I like my glue gun set on low. So the first step is to take apart your flower. So I just pull mine apart. Um, you want to look for flowers that don't have a lot of glue holding them together and you might end up using all of the layers, you might not. It just depends on how full you want your flower to be. So after you've gotten your flower taken apart, you're going to grab your boa, and you'll notice that the boa is held together with lots of string. And if you cut it in the middle, it will unravel. So we wanna put a little dab of glue on the end, wait for that glue to set up, and then give it a little pinch to kind of hold it all together. Then we're gonna measure out about five inches of our flower, or of our boa and I hold it firmly on one end, cut it, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side with my glue gun. So I put a dab of glue, I let it set up, and then I pinch it together, and now I'm going to match both of my ends up. So I'm taking both of the cut ends and I'm going to match them up, so I'm making a circle out of my little piece of the boa. So this is giving us a round circle that has all of the feathers. And this was the easiest way to put feathers into a hair flower. Then we're going to assemble our flower. So I decide how I want it to lay together. And I'm going to, starting with the bottom layers, put them together one flower at a time. And you can see I'm just holding those together, lining the little circle up. And after I have about three layers, I'm going to carefully grab my boa and trim off any weird pieces. And I'm going to hold the top part of the feathers so that they don't stick down in the glue. Put a dab of glue in a circle and then I'm going to place the round circle on top of the glue. You want to be careful not to use too much glue and not to let it stick to all of the feathers. And then um, I'm going to continue layering the rest of my silk flower pieces on top of the boa. And you can see this is the perfect way to get all of the feathers to stick out beautifully um, without having to individually put them in. This was just the fastest, easiest way I could think of to do this. Then I'm going to grab my little button that I decided to use, and I'm going to put a big dab of glue in the center of my flower, center the button in the middle, and hold that down gently. And the last step is to grab my alligator clip, cover the top of the clip with glue and place it on the back of my flower. And that is it guys, you are all set. Like I said, this is really fast and easy to put together. I loved being able to use the boa because it just took a lot less time than it would have taken to put each individual feather in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Please check out some of my other hair accessory tutorials. As well as some of my other tutorials, you can do that at untidyartist.com or on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do give this tutorial a big thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.